Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak with with Red Snow 9.2 for Windows and Mac, and uh, this works with the three with the iPhone uh, first gen and the 3G. It works with the iPod Touch first generation and the iPod Touch second generation non MC model, which means that the non MC model is the one that comes before um that came up before. The nine nine of oh nine, I think. I think it was nine nine. But if you got your iPod second gen around Christmas or someday around nine nine, like if it's after nine nine, or you're not really sure, don't attempt it. If you know it's not the that model, go ahead, try it. I'm not responsible, whatever the hell you do, but go ahead and try it. Now, um all the links will be in the description for Mac, Windows and then the uh, MC models. Now, if you have an iPod Touch 3rd generation, don't try this, or an i3, uh, 3GS, most likely, go with the uh, Snow Breeze. But, not responsible if you screw up your phone. I could help you, most likely. We'll be able to help you. Just not responsible. This video will actually fix a couple things that people may have with the I Hate Snows, Snow Breeze. So, like, if your city is not loading or anything, watch this, you know, it will help you. Um, Red Snow, you're going to want that, and you're also going to want to download the 3.1.2 firmware, not 3.1.3. .3. The link in the description will not have 3.1.3, .3, only 3.1.2. So make sure you get the right one. Now browse for it. It's in my, uh, my uh, download file folder. So it will say processing, uh, identification, successful, next, it will say downloading kernel, patching everything, yeah. Cornell or whatever it's called, let it just do its thing. If you want Cydia, because your city is having an issue, like if you have the issue in um, Snow Breeze, I unfortunately didn't have that issue. I'm sad, kind of, because then I could have showed you how to fix it in a different video. But you know, don't get everything you want. Alright, so tick the Cydia, untick it, whatever you'd like. I already have Cydia working. I'm not gonna need it. Bar boss boot. Oh, and if uh, you're not clicking this one, it's kind of pointless to leave this one unchecked. So make sure if that one's unchecked, that one's checked. Varbos boot. If you'd like to do it, go ahead. Sure, whatever. You like. All it is is just. It shows you the bootloader for like a few minutes, for a few seconds, your boot logo for like a few seconds, and then a bunch of white scrolling words come up. You can just YouTube um, iPhone Varbos boot. I may even put a video up, so stay tuned, you know. Might do that tomorrow or something in my free time between studying. I hate studying. But uh, okay, custom boot logo. And um, actually, first let's go to the already pwned. This is the nice thing about Red Snow. You can click that, uncheck City if you really want it, go ahead. But um, if you really want to already, if you're already jailbroken, click already pwned. But now if you uh, still want City to install because of the, uh, the jailbreak with the I Hate Snow, go ahead. Click that. Um, Varbus boot and custom boot logos and custom recovery logos can always be in any one of them. Doesn't matter. It's your choice. Um, custom boot logo. I have one, so I'm just gonna click it. You find it. It's right here. Uh, you could just Google search it, but it has to be minimum. It has to be a maximum of three uh, three hundred and twenty by four eighty, and uh, can't be over hundred kilobytes. So hit next and now I'm going to show you through the eyesight camera let me just get it all set up alright now you gotta hold down your power button or just turn it like I guess the lock screen hold down the power button slide to turn off which is kinda of difficult sorry it's been sideways and also backwards it's kinda of not big enough for the whole screen but uh, yeah so once it turns off hold the power button and the home button well, actually, just turn it on, so hold the power button, and then when you see their custom recovery logo, hold down, or it's my boot logo, hold down both the power and the, st the home button and the um, lock button until it turns off, and then until it starts back up, and then keep holding it. Just keep holding it, and uh, when you get the plug to iTunes, connect to iTunes, you'll get this come up. 
it'll say uploading ram dicks, whatever it's called, uh, real fast. I'm just gonna leave this open, leave both of them, but first I wanna start up, where is it? iPhoto, and as soon as it pops up, minimize it. Which I'm probably gonna wind up cutting that out. Um, yeah, I might have just cut out the iPhoto just opening, so I kinda don't want that being shown. Do pictures in there, not important to you guys. Yeah. So once it says done, you'll have the finish button ready to be clicked. Just let this finish going. Yeah, there'll be a cut in the middle of the video of me removing the iPhoto. Sorry about that. But, um, just let it keep going. And you'll eventually get the running pineapple. Just let that go. Go fast, please. I don't have all day. Um, yeah. If you guys need any custom restores from Red Stuff, uh, from I Hate Snows, Snow Breeze, let me know. I'll make them for you. It won't be very hard. Uh, and I'll post a link in the description. Yeah. You have to tell me what you, what respected iPhone you have or iPod Touch. And I'm not helping you through the GFU mode. Now, um, if this gets too long, I might cut it or somewhere. I don't know. But, yeah. Let it load. And you'll know when it works when you see your custom restore logo, boot logo, whatever. And uh, that's basically that. It's the whole video. Um, yeah. So if you have any issues through this, post a link, in the, uh, post a comment. If I couldn't help you, subscribe. When there's a new video out, I will be able to help you. So uh, that's basically it, guys. Uh, load, please, a little bit faster iPod. Oh, and um, I realized since I've done the partition drive thing, and I'm going to cut the video probably right about now, you may hear my voice or something, I don't know, like, uh, stupid stuff, yeah. Alright, uh, if I just cut the video, it's because, uh, whatever it's called, iPhoto jumps open whenever it feels like it, but when you get this, you know it's done, jailbreaking, I'm just going to hit the cancel button, but um, that's that. Yeah, guys, uh, subscribe, rate, comment, all that stuff.